I love what I do. I do nothing. I do none of what all of these guys talk about. I don't farm. Um, I don't have a contact management um, system. I don't really direct mail. I don't do any of that, to be honest with you. So um, you, what you, I do, you do business. So. I do business. And um, where I get my business from, I'll start with that, is you know, from a young age, I had a database just in my phone, in Outlook, with people who are successful, who are richer than I am, who have rich friends. And I associate with these people and I become, you know, friendly with them. I know them. I know them personally. I know their lives. I know their kids. And, you know, over the years, I built up this database. What she said is like, I feel like I'm a happy person. I think people like happy people. I, you know, I walk around with a smile. It's a great day. Every day is a really good day. I think that when you're truly happy and, you know, people feel it, it's authentic, it's infectious. People like it. People like happy people. I do get a lot of business now from other agents in other areas who will bring me in on something and I do the same. You know, it's very important to, like Blair said, to get along with these guys because these guys are who we're in business with. There's enough business for everybody out here. A friend of mine asked me, he goes, how many listings do you want? I want all of them. I really do. Like, that's the outlook. I want all of the listings. But I know I'm not going to get them, but that's my goal. My goal is to be top five in the country. That's my goal. Say it. My goal is to Say be it top, like you mean it. My goal is to be top five in the country. I got, when I decided to start selling real estate, my goal was, you know, sell a five, $10 million property. And I did that really quickly. And then I was like, I want to sell a $20 million property. And I did that. And you know, I just want to keep elevating it. And I think that surrounding yourself by people who help elevate your game, help you get there. There is a, a system in there somewhere. Yes, but I can't explain it. I can't write it out. You know, I, I just can't. It, 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 do you it's called met? neurosis. That's what <laughs> yeah. it is. I'm very persistent, both, by the way. Yeah. You can ask my wife. Three years, I was like, will you go out with me? No. Will you go out with me? No. Three years. So All I'm right, just so persistent. I'm very persistent. We sell real estate. Like, I, I went out to dinner last night. I was with some friends, and we went out to dinner, and I'm looking around, and like, you see all the city lights. There's so many houses out there, guys. One of my biggest letdowns to this, you know, in my real estate career was when I started selling real estate, I wanted to sell the Playboy Mansion. I didn't do it. I wouldn't mind having the buyer on uh, Arrow that's coming up for $500 million. Okay. I wouldn't mind having the buyer for that. Every single person knows what I do. I embrace what I do. I love what I do. I wake up in the morning, I love what I do. I say that and I mean it with every being, like fiber of my being. I'm very money motivated. I'm proud to say that. I'm very money motivated. So I've always woken up early, by the way. I'm a guy who's up, you know, 4, 4.30, 4.45, pretty much every day of the week. Like, I believe it. I was trained that way. Get up, get ahead of the game. I just think of work. I always, I always bring real estate into conversations when I'm amongst people. How, I can't really tell you, but I do bring it into the conversation. You know, my wife will tell you, like, you know, sorry, I can't come home. I got to go show this house. Eddie. Why do you have to show that house? Because if I don't show it, he's going to show it. So I'm going to show it kind of thing. <laughs> I think some people will tell me is a flaw. But like when people hire me, they hire me. They speak to me. I am, I'm too, I'm so hands on. I can't let go. But I truly believe that I'm a relationship guy. Like I am about the relationship. We are so lucky to have a product that most people want or need. And if you have that relationship, you're probably going to be the one. I feel organized in the sense that I know what I need to do. Um, the one thing I'm really good at is calendaring what I need to do when I need to do. If I, need to, if I tell someone I'm going to call them tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock my time, there's in my calendar it says call Steve Scholl 10 o'clock, you know, with a five minute reminder. So it pops up on my phone. I'm very good at that. My office is actually clean, but normally there's just shit everywhere. And, but if I'm driving, I can call Lauren and be like, Lauren, on the right side of my desk, under the caravan, there's a yellow piece of paper. It's about halfway down, written in red ink. There's a guy's number. I need that number. So I, I, that's my organization. <laughs> the way I approach business is like anything. We run a business. If you decided you wanted to open up a restaurant, you're going to have to spend money on a lease, on a build out on hiring staff. You got to spend money to make money. I'm not suggesting spend what you don't have, but do it wisely. If you need help, go out and get it, you know, any way you can. I see a lot of people when they're starting, they hold on, they choke the deal. Like, oh my God, this is a deal. Like I need this money. In my experience, every deal I've choked has fallen apart. Every deal that I was like, okay, I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to just show up 
every single one of those has closed. You know, the, the seller said to all of us, like, I'm not giving you a listing, sell my house. I was like, okay. Like, I, I didn't try to push him to sign the listing. I just started hustling. I picked up the phone, called, called, called. Ten and a half million dollar sale off market. I, I was the fortunate one. I just do. I just work and like the rest comes to you. You got to know your stuff, guys. Go see houses. I can't tell you how many people don't see houses. That's what we do. We sell houses. The pictures don't do it justice most of the time. Go see houses. Setting the, setting the right expectation, whether you're representing the buyer or the seller, you set their expectation right. Everyone said it. Listen. Listen. It's so important. If you have, if I have a client who immediately I know has this unrealistic expectation, I listen. I don't go combative with them. I don't try to be right. Okay, and then I evaluate. Is it a real seller? Do they need to sell? Why do they need to sell? And then how do you approach it from there? And again, it's expectations. I try to, you know, under promise and over deliver. Under promise and over deliver because when you set the right expectation, they're usually happy even if they were unhappy with what they were getting. There's enough business for everybody out here. Dream here. big, think big. There I think it's important, think big.